Hi everyone and welcome back to today's morning report with me, Richard Perry, Market Analyst at Hang Tech Markets for Wednesday the 7th of May. The final chart I'm going to look at today is gold and um, certainly gold has been strengthened by the events happening in the Ukraine and uh, it looks um, as though it's trying to now build this support above 1300 Um which is what it's really failed to do um, seriously in the last couple of times that it's broken back above 1300 um, and I think the outlook is turning round actually um, or beginning to turn round um, signs are that the RSI is breaking out or trying to now move out above the um, that reaction high that we saw in April, uh, it really is giving it a good old test. And I think if it can get back above this um, moving average here, which is the 59, sorry, 55 day moving average, I think that um, we can start to possibly contemplate a, uh, a, a bullish move. 13.30.90 is the high that we saw in April, so just keep that in the back of your mind. Intraday. I think um, we've had this, let's just zoom out slightly here, we've had this move that took us above 13.05, which was sort of capping the uh, capping the gains over the past few weeks. But now that um, breakout has been used as the base of support. Um, so that's coming at um, uh, around about that 13.05 mark. And it's now just building this consolidation pattern. And if the con this consolidation pattern can break above the 13.15 high that we had from yesterday, or sorry, Monday, um, then we can start to think about moves back towards that 13.30 mark. But at the moment, we're seeing this consolidation play out. Um, the uh, the momentum indicators are fairly, I mean, if you're going to go on technicals, the momentum indicators intraday are actually fairly positive because we've seen this support come in around the um, between 40 and 50 on the RSI. The MACD lines have unwound nicely to neutral and beginning to break higher again. And also the stochastics are in positive configuration as well. So if you're actually going to go on to pure technicals uh, and not just focus on you know, on situation in Ukraine, then the uh, the gold price is beginning to look more positive again. Um, so as I said, that 1305 mark near term I think is, uh, is very important, as indeed I continue to believe the psychological level around 1300 um, is one to watch as well. So I think those two levels are the key lows that we need to focus on. And on the upside, 1315.90 which was, as I said, Monday's high, so, sorry, 1350.60, uh, which was Monday's high, and uh, that would open up these levels that we saw back in the middle of April, which was 1330. Um, so uh, just uh, build that bullish case if we can um, break above that 1315.60. So um, I wish you good luck in your trading on uh, on gold. I still think that, to be honest, this is more moving on um, situation in Ukraine rather than uh, any desire to own gold as um I, I mean as anything other than an insurance trade, um, because I still um, believe that every time the Ukraine drops out of the news headlines and the news flow, then gold starts to deteriorate once more. So. Um, I think if as long as the Ukraine stays in the headlines, I think gold will remain supported. Anyway, I wish you good luck in your trading on gold today and I will speak to you tomorrow. Thank you.